And that was our Susan Candiotti with those new details for us. And now let's bring in our legal guys for some more analysis. We have Avery Friedman, a civil rights attorney and law professor who's in Cleveland for us. And Richard Herman, a New York criminal defense attorney and law professor, joins us now from Las Vegas. Thank you both for being here. Nice to see you both. Uh, Richard, prosecutor, saying not only did uh, Hernandez kill Odin Lloyd, he disposed the gun, destroyed his home surveillance system. What could the defense strategy be in this case? It's, uh, you know... First of all, let's understand there's no evidence yet because evidence is in a courtroom and we're not in a courtroom yet. However, Avery makes certain points that are pretty valid here. This is, you know, in the, in the, in the opera they say it's over when the fat lady sings. She's in the back warming up for Mr. Hernandez right now. It gets worse and worse each day. These videos, although they're grainy, do appear to show a 45 caliber weapon. And that was a type of weapon of choice for this execution. And I say execution because we hear a lot about 9mm rounds. A 45 round is twice the size of a 9mm. Five shots right. into this victim. That's execution style. That's with intent. That's with bad intent. So they found casings at his home. That surveillance system we mentioned, that was found to be intentionally destroyed right. by Hernandez. Yet the data was recovered. His cell phone was intentionally destroyed. Data was recovered yeah, off got of him. that. Now these grainy pictures. And worst of all, his co-person, his buddy who was with him that night, he's singing. That's, That's why the probable cause hearing got put off. He's laying it on heavy, incriminating Hernandez. Yeah, and, and Richard, given the, the mounting evidence that you just discussed, do you think that uh, they might try to work out a plea deal here? What do you think? You know, Pam, like, and normally I would say yes, except that he's potentially now a target, a target in a double homicide in Massachusetts. He also has a matter pending in Florida for an assault type shooting. Yeah. He's got a world of trouble right now. And if you're his attorney, you want to try to make one global resolution here. Either way, any resolution is going to give happen. him perhaps mm -hmm. life in prison. Yeah, and a grand jury's looking at evidence in that other case you mentioned there with that uh, double murder. Uh, on the last note here, we've been hearing that uh, one of o uh, Hernandez's friends allegedly part of this killing, and now at least uh, one of them is turning uh, state's evidence and will actually help prosecutors <laughs> in this case. Could it get any worse for Hernandez at this point? It's bad. It's bleak. I bet the, the other code defendant yeah. is also going to try to give evidence. They're going to try to save and spare their lives. It's, it's just mounting against him right now. And interesting here, Pamela and Avery, this case they're claiming is a circumstantial case. And we hear circumstantial evidence. Sometimes a good circumstantial case is better than an eyewitness case. And here, the circumstances are mounting and mounting and mounting. Well, video, really video seems, trumps witnesses. Video trumps witnesses. Yeah, but this no seems overwhelming. It. This seems overwhelming against Hernandez, and the lawyers will do everything they can to try to cut a deal.